Edwards, and this is my progress in Full Sail University. Right now, we are doing week two in the psychology of play. What an amazing psychology class. This week, uh, for our discussion post, this is my homework actually right here, and we had to choose between four different quests. And I chose to spend some time with my friends and family. It was called the Get Connected Quest, and it was something that I really enjoyed doing. It was over the 4th of July weekend. Everybody knows that you gotta love the 4th. Here's some pictures of my parents and my wife and my children and us lighting off some fireworks. and just kind of barbecuing some food and hanging out on the truck and lighting stuff off outside. You know, it's really important to spend time with your family nowadays. I believe that for the past two years, everyone's been cooped up inside over COVID and not really been socializing much. And the social benefits have been a lot less than they should. You know, social benefits are amazing, honestly, from being able to spend time with your family. They make you feel loved. They make you feel like you belong somewhere. They help us with our depression, our anxiety. It's good to be around people, actually. It makes us feel comfortable. It actually helps us with trust also and trusting other people and getting getting out there and being able to socialize and talk. I'm sure it helps us in a lot more aspects also. I really loved this quest because I personally myself haven't got to spend a lot of time with my family. And so I hope you guys had a great fun weekend over the 4th. Happy 4th of July! The Edwards clan. 2022, baby! 2022! And gotta spend time with your guys' family or whatever you guys did. And uh, hope you enjoyed the pictures too. The second quest that I chose was a little bit more something that I think that I need to work on for myself. And it's really been helping me. I'm not really a guy that looks at my watch and goes, oh, it's a time schedule. No, I don't really like time, to be honest with you. But as I'm going to school, I realize that I need a lot more. I have to wake up on time, I have to look at my schedule, I have to figure out what I gotta do today, I gotta look at the, I gotta look at so many things that I never had to look at actually. And so the second quest that I chose was the weekly plan. I chose this also last week. But I wanted to do it again this week because I just kind of wanted to get used to waking up and like looking at my, my plan. I've been, I've been waking up every day and looking at my plan and going, okay, well, it's, it's coffee time now. And okay, well, I got I to gotta read this chapter for school or I got to go over here. Oh, I got a lecture today because it's Tuesday. And so I really enjoyed the weekly plan. It's some pictures of my weekly plan and the reading for the weekly plan was about toxic time traits that you have. And I'm not sure if you guys have issues following plans like I do, but let me know if you guys do or if you guys are really good at them because I have an issue with staying on track to be honest with you. And I really like the toxic time plan reading. Um, it helped myself look at some of the things that I was doing and some of the people that I was talking to and it really made me evaluate what I was spending my time with. And it, it, it let me look at myself and go, wow, maybe I shouldn't do this as much. Maybe I should focus more of my time on this. Maybe I'm wasting my time with uh, too much TV or maybe I'm spending too much time with a certain friend or maybe I'm staying up too late to watch that extra movie at night or play my video game. Those are just all things that they kind of hindrance us from achieving our goals and what we want to do in life. And I've been doing that a lot myself, so I really enjoyed the toxic time trait reading. Um, I applied it to myself and I hope you guys apply it to yourself also. We had to do two concepts that we learned this week and describe them and one of them was flow. And I really like the concept of flow. And flow is the best to do something without ever thinking about what you are doing. 
When I'm blacksmithing, when I first started blacksmithing, I used to have to think about every swing that I did. I used to have to figure out how much pressure and where I was gonna hit it. And honestly, it was so distracting. Now, I can walk out to my shop and I can turn my forge on and I can literally just hit the metal and the steel and just over and over and I don't think about what I'm doing. It just flows through me. Actually, I don't even realize what time it is half the time when I'm in my shop doing black. The other concept I wanted to go over is PERMA, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishment. That is what PERMA is an acronym for. Positive emotions is gratitude, love, and hope, and I know we all have that in our life. Engagement is absorbed in a task or a project, and I know I get lost in my projects all the time. Relationships is a positive, meaningful person, friends, someone inside of your life that means something to you. I know I have a few people inside of my life that mean a lot to me. Meaning is blind to something that is bigger than you. Wow, that's a deep one right there. Belonging to something that is bigger than you. I know I want to belong to something bigger than me, to be honest with you. That's why I'm going to school. Accomplishments, goals, and mastering skills. Now this one is my favorite. I love when I master a new skill. I'm getting a lot better at this camera. I'm getting a lot better at editing. I'm getting a lot better at school myself. And I believe that it's a giant accomplishment for me. And it is amazing, it feels great. Permanence of positive psychology and well-being. And if you follow it well and do it correctly, it is long-lasting happiness, honestly. And to me, that sounds amazing. And so those were the two concepts. And the last prompt on the week two discussion was, did these quests impact your well-being? And, you know, at first, uh, I didn't really realize it, but yes, I do believe that doing the schedule every week over and over is impacting my well-being. It's allowed me to stay on time, get my homework processed on time, be happier, less stressed. Um, you know, the toxic trait reading that I read this week uh, about cutting certain things out of your life that are stopping you from getting to your accomplishments, that, that was big for me. I really enjoyed that, honestly, because I, I wasted a lot of my time. Um, it's one thing that we don't get back this time, so I don't want to keep wasting it. So the toxic trait reading was amazing. And then the spending, the getting connected quest was really amazing because I really believe that we should all spend time with our friends and family. I have lacked on this for many years and I'm trying to get back out there now and see these people and uh, be around these people. Uh, COVID affected me in a big way and we're just now finally getting back out there and seeing people. And you know, you just never know when it's going to be your last time to see somebody. As we all keep getting older, it seems like we see people less and less nowadays and Anyways, and um, so I really like the Getting Connected quest. I really got to enjoy spending some time with my family and barbecuing and doing the fireworks, and that was really amazing. And so I do believe that it has helped my well being. I really appreciate you guys watching my um, homework. And that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching my uh, discussion post about Full Sail University on week two, the psychology of play. If you guys like what you've seen and heard and like me in general, please drop me a like, drop me a comment, and subscribe to my page because I am going to keep doing the homework for Full Sail University on my YouTube channel just to get to know everybody out there, and I appreciate it, guys. Till next time, thanks. This is Eric Edwards.